And Jose Mourinho is set to join. Is it set or has it happened? Is that, um, well, it's it happened. Was, yeah, it's happened, happened, happened isn't it? Yes, it? he yeah. has joined Fenerbahce after he was sacked by Roma in January. The 61 year old will sign a two year deal, has signed a two year deal for the Turkish Super League team and will compete in the Champions League qualifying campaign. Good to have him back. Imagine. Well, I've always, look, I've, I'm, a, I'm a Jose fan. You know, I've admired what he did as a, as a manager. I think there was an, a lot of challenges for him. He done some amazing feats. He, you know, even with Real Madrid, where you know he he took over and got success there. He he won trophies at Manchester United. Um, Tottenham was diff- difficult. Mm. Um, he's, what he done at Chelsea was extraordinary. Um, I think the game. I said it before. I said I felt the game evolved and moved on slightly. Um, you know, managers like him and Antonio Conte, you could put in the same bracket. Well, it's interesting you mention him because he's another name in the frame for another job. Um, He's reportedly agreed a three-year deal with Napoli. He's been out of work since leaving his role at uh, Tottenham. Uh, The Italian giants have gone through three permanent managers on their way to finishing 10th in this year's top division. Yeah, Yeah. really bad considering how well they did previously. Um, Their current boss, Francesco Calzona, has uh, won just three of his 16 games. So they're looking to make a change. Does that change fit with Antonio Conte being the right man in? Well, Napoli, for a period, had a very exciting team. It feels like Napoli's being broken up as well. Players, Ozyman, could move mm, on. Mm. It feels like there's going to be a bit of change there. Incidentally, it's very similar to Jose Mourinho, where Jose's longest stint was three years. Uh, Antonio Conte's longest stint was three years with Juventus, right. from 2011 to 14. Um, apart from that, it's been two years. I think the Italy job was two years. Mm. Chelsea, Chelsea uh, again, two years. Um, Inter Milan, two years. Tottenham, two years. So it's again, it's a manager that is a huge demand with Antonio Conte. The way he managed at times and his ruthlessness and, and demands, well, I think sometimes put the club in a very difficult position. But when you're hearing of a manager who doesn't last that long, I mean, that's not a club that's... In my eyes, I would see that as, well, that's not a long-term planning if you're bringing in someone like that, that doesn't last very long, that apparently seemingly falls out as well with the, well, I, the board I, like he did with Tottenham. He was yeah. so outspoken. I, I don't know. I, I just thought, are you, are, you, are you bringing more issues to your club with hiring somebody yeah. like that? We talked about Ancelotti earlier, mm. you know, and what he's done in the game and how he conducts himself. And he doesn't rock boats. He doesn't, you know, burn bridges. Antonio Conte does that often yeah. he had many issues it even at Chelsea like and that. you know what one of the reasons he gets a bit longer I said two years some of them clubs he would have been sacked earlier mm. but because of his contract situation he got huge payoffs Antonio yeah. Conte um, which you know again Jose's had a few of issues in the same do, vein do you think for some of these clubs then with someone like a Jose Mourinho they're bringing them in because they are winners in the main they mm. are serial winners and they're maybe looking at the short term plan and thinking well, you could deliver us a trophy. Yeah. And that's what we're craving right now. Yeah. Well, that was the craving of Tottenham, wasn't it? Yeah. Of Antonio Conte and Jose at the same time. I would say Jose's... I I, I would more trust Jose than Antonio Conte. I think Antonio Conte has so often caused most of the problems. Mm -hmm. He's been so outspoken, whether it's been players, whether it's criticism of the the recruitment system at a club uh, and many other things with the owners. I, I've always been a bit suspicious of Antonio Conte and his intentions of how long he wants to stay in a job. Mm. I mean, uh, there's part of me that doesn't want to dismiss older managers, but it no. does seem as though right now we're, we're, there's a trend of going for younger managers. You know, you look at... And I'm talking younger in terms of even just in experience as well. You look at Kieran McKenna being yeah. linked, obviously, with a number of jobs. Now, of course, he's remained at Ipswich. Enzo Maresca still very young in his yeah. managerial career. But do you think there are, is still a place for, for Jose and Antonio? Or do they... And Antonio Conte, do they need to... Or do they need, sorry, to invo- evolve a little bit with the style of play that they have? Yeah, I, I do. I think, you know, the rules are... Or the, you know, the laws of the game make it... You have to be an attack-minded coach to be successful yeah. um, I think they've fallen a little bit short um, of course there's a place for them because they're ultimately brilliant managers um, yes. and they've got to be with I think Jose given the right circumstances would continue winning I, I really do I mean even the job at Roma it fell away to the end and there was some um, and, and I saw a number of Roma games there was some terrible behaviour by him on the, the sidelines where he was clearly angry with Italian football and he wasn't getting things his way so, you know, that that's Jose. 
Mm. Um, there is a place for them, though, without doubt. I think they have to earn their stripes again. No, yes. Because if you're going backwards now or you feel like you're going in a da- downward spiral, you've got to prove again you can do it. And I think that's where Jose is. He's going to have to do something special, whether it's Fanabeshi in the Champions League, somewhere along the way. He wins a European competition if it's Europa, which he achieved, you know, with Roma. Um, is, so, there any, is there any sort of surprise in a way that a team like Bayern Munich didn't think of a Jose Mourinho, but they've uh, instead they've gone for a Vincent Company? Is there a surprise in that? Well, they, they openly said the style of football was something they were attracted to. Yeah. So it goes to my point that these two might have to rethink the way they play. And can uh, they? Um, can well, you evolve that? You know, how old is Mourinho? I, I don't 61? think he's, uh, he's not tolerant to anything, Antonio Conte. He is, he literally puts everything on the club mm. and not on him. Well, I think you can slightly. I think the relationship with Jose and his players was always great. If you look at all, how many times he's left clubs and the players are really upset and how much they've loved working with him, I think he's done that brilliantly, the communication side of his players. Look, it's, it's difficult now to win. First and foremost, sure. winning is really tough. I've seen enough managers and the challenges they have at their football club. So, um, look. There's a place for them. I just think if they're going to have to prove themselves again, it's like everything in life. You've got to go and win. And if Jose can win something special again with Fenerbahce, he'd be lauded as a hero with the fans and the players he worked under. Obviously, like we mentioned, these are two serial winners in their management career. Um, When you bring in someone like a Frank Lampard into this conversation, uh, a lot of papers today are going with him being on the shortlist now to replace Vincent Kompany. Uh, again, still relatively new Young, to management. Or youngish, yeah, yeah, forty-five, something like that. Yeah. Right? yeah, but also relatively new. I mean, as in he's never really had a long stint at a club, really, to make no. an imprint. Can you see him? First of all, does it, does Burnley make? Is that a right fit for him to go to a, to Burnley? Well, it's the fit that is the only one seemingly available. Um, look. I've had a bit of beef with Frank um, and I found him challenging at times. I want him to have another go because I think, you know, there has been some failure, but there's also been some decent things where yeah. the embargo at Derby and likewise at Chelsea, he, he, but he also spent money at Chelsea and things didn't pan out. He fell out Mar- with Marina uh, at Chelsea Football Club, mm-hmm. who obviously was in a powerful position. Mm. Um, I think, I think if he took Burnley on, he'd have to really prove again and earn his stripes at a football club that he can really manage and, and put a successful team together. I mean, it's a big ask, though, to, to go into Burnley, who probably naturally will be targeting an immediate return to the Premier League. So it's a huge job to take on, really. Yeah, embrace it. You know, mm. people take on jobs. You know, what was Southampton when they got relegated? You know, what was Leeds' sure. job? How tough was a Leeds' job when they got relegated? Yeah. They're really tough jobs. Trying, to, You know, expectation is to not only make the playoffs, we've seen managers just miss the playoffs and get sacked, like like Rosinia at Hull, and we've seen managers get in the playoffs and get sacked. It's a tough gig in the championship. So if Frank's up for that challenge, which I'm sure he would be, look, it's a big advantage being at a club who has parachute payments. So you have a bit more to spend on wages and you also have the opportunity to spend some on transfers. So it's but still a decent job. the expectations are much bigger. Tough. Than That's what he, in that team. He's in a big that league, sorry. You know, he played as a player mm-hmm. at Chelsea. Expectations were at the highest level when he played at that football club. As I say, um, this is reported in the papers. There are a number of other managers also on the shortlist, it seems, to replace company. One being his uh, former assistant, Craig Bellamy, uh, and also who's, by the way, been placed in temporary charge, although... yeah. It's not much really going on at the moment. No. Uh, but also Scott Parker is another Scott name Parker. Yeah, that well, has what's been it? linked with that. How long has it now been? Scott been out of the game, as in not managing a year and a bit? Uh, yeah, he was at Bruges, wasn't he, for yeah. uh, for just a few months, really. That was in 2022, so yeah, yeah uh, year just and a over bit. a year. Of, yeah. yeah, so, you know, Scott had a really good time in, in management for a period uh, with Fulham. Uh, Bournemouth turned in a mm. moment, didn't it? It was mm. really strange after they got beat heavily at Liverpool. But, and it was yes, huge was criticism. Say. And um, Scott paid the price. And uh, Bournemouth have done all right since. But again, I, I, I try and look at management slightly different because nearly all of them fail. Mm-hmm. So I don't want people just to have one go at it. I want to go, you have a yeah, few. Yeah. You have a, if you get two or three, you're fortunate. And some names are getting... You know, Frank would be his fourth job, you know, which would be a great opportunity. So I've always feel failure is part of it. 
and I don't want I don't want to go down the road of have you get one go at this and that's it and everyone's no good. Mm. Everyone makes the assessment he was useless or whatever. Sure. I don't want to go down that road. Shouldn't be scarred by certain no, things. No, exactly. When you have to also bring in the con- what happened around that club at the time, like you say, transfer embargoes, things so, like that. What did they achieve nah, regardless of that? Honestly, one thing I've learned is how tough it is for managers at jobs because what goes on behind the scenes and the promises and sometimes false promises. Yeah, which is why, even though Vincent Company might well be a surprise at Bayern Munich, there is something there that they've seen, style of play, exactly, whatever it yeah. is he's brought to Burnley that they think he can do better at. At Bayern. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.